ENM staging of carcinoma of the breast. So, what is TNM stage? First, we will start with the T stage. T stage is the one that is represents the tumor. N stands for node and M stands for metastasis. Okay, so he, in this session, I am going to discuss about TNM staging of the carcinoma of the breast. Number one, first uh, we are going to discuss about T stage, that is the tumor stage. So, we will start with T1. Okay, the T1, T2, T3 all represents the uh, size of the tumor. Okay, for example, uh, this is the patient having a, a breast lump. Patient having a breast lump. First thing is you have to assess the size of the lesion. Suppose if you got a breast lump that is very small, that is less than 2 cm in size, then it is called as T1. Tumor size of less than 2 cm it is T1. Tumor size of between 2 to 5 cm, then it is called as T2. Okay, then third one is the tumor size if it is if it is more than more than 5 cm then it is called as T3 ok so T1, T2, T3 based on the size of the tumor size less than 2 cm 2 to 5 cm and more than 5 cm this is about T1 to T3 then we have to discuss about T4 T4 so what do you mean by T4 A Okay, so consider this is the patient having the breast lump. The lump is there. Okay, so this lump can infiltrate the chest wall. Then it is called as T4A. So what are the structures that making up the chest wall? That is also very easy. Okay, that is the ribs. Okay, posteriorly you got the ribs. Number one ribs, and number two intercostal muscle in between the ribs you got the muscle that is called intercostal muscle and number uh, three is laterally you got a muscle called serratus anterior so these three structures that is the ribs serratus anterior and intercostal muscles they are making the chest wall so anything is involved chest wall involvement is there then it is called as t4a next comes the skin involvement so what do you mean by this skin involvement which is nothing but number one is the edema okay suppose you got an edema so that is classically described as pud orange which is due to the subdermal lymphatic blockage by the tumor cells Okay, so PUD orange edema is one of the uh, sign that shows it is a skin involvement. Next one is the ulcer. So any ulcer that is present over the tumor, that is also skin involvement. And last one is satellite nodules. Okay, so around you can get a number of nodules that is called satellite nodules. Presence of satellite nodules is also indicative of skin involvement. Then. T4C, T4C which is nothing but combination of A and A and B, both chest wall involvement as well as skin fixity, skin involvement is there, then you can tell it as T4C. And the last one is, T4D is inflammatory carcinoma. Inflammatory carcinoma, uh, the carcinoma commonly present in pregnancy and lactation and you can see that even though it is a carcinoma, it shows some signs of inflammation like uh, redness, tenderness and all these things all there. Uh, that is inflammatory carcinoma. Okay, that's all about the T stage. Next, we are going to discuss about the N stage. What is this N stage? Number one, okay, so I will just put some picture so that you can able to uh, easily assess. Okay, so this is the... Uh, patient presenting with the breast lump then and this is the axilla axilla is usually represented by triangle 
okay first one if a patient has got a mobile ipsilateral axillary lymph node for example this patient is having right side breast lump and the same patient is having the right side axilla lymph node is there and it is mobile then it is called as n1 the same mobile lymph node if it becomes fixed then it is called as n2a if fixed ipsilateral axillary lymph nodes that is n2a and n2b is where you will have the lymph nodes okay clinically palpable uh, clinically apparent lymph nodes that are present in internal mammary region alone so you don't get axillary lymph node that is n2b okay n2b is only internal mammary lymph node alone that is called as n2b next comes the uh, n3 so in n3 you got three stages are there okay you got three stages this is uh, breast lump is there okay and uh, most important thing is what the clavicle is there and uh, i'm just going to put the clavicle okay so this is the clavicle okay so 3a 3b and 3c that is also very simple 3a is infra clavicular the lymph node that are present uh, below the clavicle this is 3a if the lymph node that is present above the clavicle that is the supra clavicular then it is called as 3c if it is you are having axillary lymph node as well as internal mammary lymph node then it is called as 3b okay it's very simple i will repeat again 3a means ipsilateral infraclavicular and 3c is ipsilateral supraclavicular and 3b is ipsilateral internal mammary and axillary lymph nodes okay so that's all about the nodal status then comes the m stage that is metastasis distant metastasis so here you got uh, n0 that is no distant metastasis so you all know that distant metastasis means a tumor uh, that is present uh, from that location without any relation you got a metastatic tumor deposit okay suppose consider this is the patient having an uh, uh, breast lesion okay having a breast lesion having a breast lesion tumor is there okay from this so where all it can spread a distant metastasis where all it can spread number 1 it can spread to brain or it can spread to lungs or it can spread to liver or it can spread to the bones like proximal end of the humerus then proximal end of the femur okay then vertebra then vertebra you can get it and adrenal gland okay so these are the some sites you can get distant metastasis i repeat again so number 1 you can get in the brain and uh, you can get it in the bone you can get it in the lungs and you can get it in the lungs uh, you can get it in the liver and you can get it in the adrenal gland so these are the location you will get distant metastasis okay you have to all these things you have to assess clinically suppose a patient is having secondary is liver so what will happen they will complaining of swelling in the right hypochondrial region they will be complaining of uh, pain uh, in the right hypochondrial region and clinical examination you can able to elicit the hepatomegaly and uh, so in extreme cases the patient might be uh, presenting with jaundice so based on that you can tell whether it is distant metastasis is there or not okay this is about the m stage okay with that we will go for the staging how to stage the disease so okay so there are four stages are there stage 1 and 2 okay it is called as early breast carcinoma that is ebc it is very simple to remember early breast carcinoma ebc stage 3 is 
LABC locally advanced breast carcinoma stage 3 and stage 4 is ABC that is advanced breast carcinoma okay so so what is this uh, again we are going to discuss what is ABC that is stage 1 and 2 okay stage 1 is very simple so in the stage 1 and stage 4 is very simple if you watch carefully you can see that any tumor okay roughly that is a tumor size of less than 2 centimeter okay roughly for example a tumor size of less than 2 centimeter 2 centimeter without any node without any distant metastasis you can call it as stage 1 okay stage 1 is very simple a tumor size of less than 2 cm without node without distant metastasis that is stage 1 then what is stage 4 okay stage 4 is the same thing where you will have the distant metastasis irrespective of the distant metastasis irrespective of the tumor size irrespective of the nodal state you are getting distant metastasis then it is called as stage 4 that is an advanced uh, breast carcinoma okay so now we have discussed about stage 1 and 4 so that is very easy next uh, we are going in going into the stage 2 so what is stage 2 so there are stage 2 also 2a and 2b is there okay it is not necessary to memorize the all these things okay it's very simple if you watch carefully uh, you can see that n1 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 roughly you can say that any tumor without distant metastasis presenting with n1 that is mobile ipsilateral axillary lymph node that you can call it as stage 2 okay there are some exceptions are there don't bother about the exception this is roughly i am telling stage 2 means uh, tumor any tumor without uh, distant metastasis uh, you get an ipsilateral mobile axillary lymph nodes then it is called as stage 2 ok so next we are going to discuss about what is stage 3 stage 3 is otherwise called as locally advanced breast carcinoma here also you got uh, three divisions are there one is 3a here also you can watch carefully roughly you can take in stage 3a n2 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 okay so roughly you can put it as anything with the n2 you can put it as 3a and e3b similarly t4 that is most of the anything with the t t4 you can tell it as 3b and 3c is anything with n3 okay so not necessary to memorize all these things roughly you can assess so this is about the stage 3 and stage 4 we already discussed ok so with this I am going to discuss some of the multiple choice question that already asked in the common uh, competitive exams We will start with the first question that is the TNM staging of carcinoma breast with bilateral supraclavicular lymph nodes. Okay, so what you have to do first, you, you know, you just now you discussed all the staging. Okay, here you can able to see four options are there N3A, N3B, N3C, and M1. Okay. So just now we discussed N3A, which is nothing but, which is nothing but, okay. So this is a breast is there, and a lump is there, okay. You got an uh, clavicle is there, okay. Clavicle is there, okay. Number one, N3A means just now we discussed N3A is infraclavicular lymph node that is present in infraclavicular that is called N3A, N3B. N3C is supraclavicular that is ipsilateral 
same side ipsilateral uh, infraclavicular that is 3a ipsilateral supraclavicular that is 3c then n3b is both axillary lymph node as well as internal mammary lymph node on the same side that is n3b okay so this three stages we know m1 which is nothing but distant metastasis so distant metastasis that, uh, that is also we have discussed so here the pay here the question what they what it says bilateral supraclavicular bilateral means not only ipsilateral the lymph node that is present in the opposite side also so any lymph node apart from ipsilateral you are getting opposite side that comes under m1 so your answer will be m1 this is the second question in case of carcinoma breast chest wall involvement means involvement of all the following except okay so this question also we have discussed just now that is three structures I have told serratus anterior then the intercostal muscle ribs these three structures making up the chest wall okay the answer here the answer is it's a straightforward question pectoral is major go to the third question uh, breast mass of size 6 into 3 centimeter with hard mobile ipsilateral lymph node and ipsilateral supraclavicular lymph node what is the TNM staging we will go one by one so this is first one is the size of the tumor so this size is more than 5 centimeter so let us put it as T3 T3 then next one is the mobile okay, next one is mobile ipsilateral axillary lymph node that is N1 just now discussed N1 and another uh, thing also they have given that is ipsilateral supraclavicular lymph node that comes under N3C N3C ok so they are not mentioned about anything about the metastasis ok with that we have to see here the option here T3 it comes in only B B and D ok and if you if you watch carefully you got two staging in the N N1 and N3C here you have to take it as the maximum one here the maximum one is N3 that is so so your answer will be uh, that is option D that is T3 N3 M0 so that is the answer for this question